think I have schizophrenia. Oh my. So I was. Well, okay. So this is what happened. I was gonna make a YouTube video. I did make. I kind of made a YouTube video. But then I was like. I'm not allowed to post this because I post this. I'm in trouble. Anyways, I go on today. And of course, I have my camera. I don't know what the frick. My freaking charger. For my camera charger. I don't know. I thought I'd just do a little get ready with me, pack with me, because guess what? You wouldn't guess. I'm moving. Again. This is either the ninth or tenth time in less than two years. So, yeah, I haven't had luck with like living situations or roommates or any of that. You know, this is like kind of where we're at right now. That's it. I'm so freaking grateful that I have a phone because if I didn't have a phone, I couldn't film. I haven't filmed a video in like two weeks, and that's probably part of the reason why I'm literally so depressed. So much like bad stuff is going on. It also has to do with other stuff. Also, with me being like scared and stuff because I have like phobias. And I think I have schizophrenia. Bro, look at that freaking pimple. God, it's so freaking big. It hurts every time I touch it. Even when I brush my hair, I still look, look, it's still like homeless. It's so frizzy. It's like, no. So, anyway, it's gonna be like a turn myself from a t not even a two, from a one to a, a three. Just kidding. We're gonna aim for a ten, but you know, you don't always get what you want. Like, I just wanted to talk about a lot of stuff. Anyways, my tattoo, my parents don't know about. Like, maybe if they did find out about my tattoo, I mean, I would care. Like, I'm always gonna get yoga and shit, but like, I'm just trying to like that as much as possible. And I realized the way they have my hair up and I would get cut. So basically, you get like a cute little headband. This is also like a tube top. And you basically, like, see how my tattoo's right here? You just bring it on and then you cover it up. It looks like an egg. A large egg. Anyways, I need to like contact him, but I also need a pack. I think I'm gonna get try to get ready first because I want to look good. It's just been a rough. It's been a rough start to 2021. Honestly, it's been a rough start to 2021. Literally, so much has happened. Like, got arrested. Something I didn't do. I can't even look at my stuff at my apartment because I have a restraining order on me. Because apparently, I said that I'm gonna hurt someone and I'm like a danger and a threat. And really, it was the opposite way around. But. This sounds so dramatic. The police have literally been here the last two nights. Two out of the last three nights. Literally every time I go to bed, these nightmares and they feel real. And I wake up and I like feel like I'm seeing stuff. Hallucinations, you know? Like I said, I think I have schizophrenia. Just like I'm scared. Of you. Ow. Oh my. I just ran into the door. I'm literally all over the place. It's partly because I haven't been sleeping. Anyway, I've just been getting so frustrated because I've been getting so scared for bed. I'd be so paranoid that someone's gonna hurt me. When they're not, it's like not a real fear. And then I get in trouble for calling the police. Okay, I'm just really bad at explaining stuff, and I'm also not explaining stuff because I don't want to get yelled at for just telling the truth. But I just want to make it clear, I actually didn't call the police. I would just texted them, and I asked them if I could, like, talk to a doctor because I was, like, hallucinating, and I thought I was dying. And then they came, and then I got in trouble. But it's like, I don't even ask them to come. They come because they don't think I'm safe, and then I get in trouble. And it's just so frustrating because it's like, I'm literally trying to help myself. Why am I getting in trouble asking for help? Like, so dumb. Like, I'm just scared. But no one... <sighs> what? I'm doing that, like, right now. Getting ready. Making a freaking YouTube video. Priorities. Just kidding. School is the number one priority. Actually, no. Your mental health is the number one priority. Actually, your health is the number one priority, which comes over school and anything else. You come first before anybody else. Your parents, your friends, your best friend. If you didn't get anything from this video, I hope you got that. If you made it this far. What the hell is my dad doing? Like, literally, he keeps walking back and forth. So before I leave, I always have to clean. What am I forgetting? It literally looks like I need to brush my hair or shower. I just showered this morning. Mm. Bitch, I'm a big I turn around with that Roku. Okay, anyway. So I'm gonna set this up. Oh, I can pack it. Nice. Come watch me. It literally says my nickel which is TF, which you know, people would just be thought I literally just put the on my luggage and I didn't. I was just literally a god given name. I don't know where the damn battery is. The first thing I'm packing is this. It says California on it. I don't like that. I think my sister lives in California. The next thing is this. I got from a thrift store and it's like because it's white and it matches everything. Ohio State, UC Health. What? <sighs> Cincinnati children shirt. Six t-shirts total. Oh, the freaking thing. I thought a cat was in there. Ponya, Wes, and Kim are getting divorced. I'm so sad. I literally love them both so much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm packing up right now. 
No, I don't need your help. Literally last night, the police came. My dad was like, do you want me to take your phone? I was like, no. My parents used to always take my phone when I was younger. If you have a phone, your parents aren't supposed to take it away because there's an emergency, like a fire or something, and you can't call anyone. Yeah. And it's illegal. I didn't know this to have locks on the outside of your door because I've definitely seen that before. <laughs> Alright, peace out, girls. No kidding. Oh, yeah, that's about it. That wasn't really much of video. It's literally therapeutic talking to a camera. How did we go from half my nail falling off to the whole freaking nail coming off? Oh, yeah, but shit. I'm giving Chick-fil-A. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a big like and to like. Wait, I just said to like. Uh, <laughs> make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.